Alrighty, welcome back to Studio Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, we just had an amazing talent from Project Fame, the very first one. With, so, she had the name she called Bisola. Yeah, Inyanya. it's like and, yeah. that gave me throwback vibes. Um, but she's still doing her thing, and she just had a new music video, but Oga Boss at the top or something. Mm. Oga at the top. Oga at the top. Uh -huh, yes. Mm. And we just play that for you. So in case you've missed any of our previous conversations or even her interview, please feel free to go to our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. We're on live right now and you can catch up and just go through the entire page to see what we've been mm -hmm. doing so far. Anyway, so our last conversation of the day, before we let you go and have your weekend, I know it's already public holiday actually. Yeah. How can I forget that? It is. It's because we're working, that's why. Happy Good Friday, guys. Happy Good, Happy Friday. good Friday. And if you're at home, you're, you're very, very, and very lucky. And then anyway, you know, you're sharing the turkey, you know. All of us will be there. We'll finish work soon, though. Mm, you can't. We'll don't, don't leave us out completely, mm, yeah. you know? All of us. <laughs> anyway, American rapper Safari um, Samuels has highlighted the evils of social media in a new post cited on his Instagram page. According to the 39-year-old ex of popular rapper Nicki Minaj, we just had to put it in there, social media makes young people think of suicide and sink into depression for not earning six figures and driving a seven series at the young age of 22. The world star hip hop rapper also added that social media makes women feel like they haven't achieved anything yet in their lives because they don't own a Chanel bag, while men are made to believe that a nine to five job is slavery. I mean, his write up was really like, you know, more detailed, yeah. but that's basically the summary of what he was saying. What do you think of it? I couldn't agree more because um, at the end of the day, you see a lot of people, you know, comparing their lives to people who'd like, you see comments like God win. Mm. That, Fakes me out when people say stuff like that, like God when. You see somebody driving a car, you're like God when. You see somebody getting married, you're like God when. I, I've never been a fan of God when because I know God's time is the best. And um, boy, we're just asking what time it is. <laughs> what time is this God's time? What time is the best time? <laughs> is this God's time? <laughs> voila. Then, secondly, I like the way he ended it that when he said, um, for what other people have or pretend to have mm. like social media is just um what's it called it's a smoke screen for, mm. for a lot of things you know people borrow ca uh, cars these days people borrow designer clothes these days people are even at video shoots that the stylist bro clothes and they wear it they, they change different outfits and take pictures people go to the boutique and they want to buy just one clothes and they they test like five and they take pictures with all five and mm. then they come out and be like yo you be like that person is balling but they really don't have all that stuff so mm. i think it's just a, a a, a, a matter of counting your blessings count your blessings name them by one one by one and it would surprise you what the lord has done hallelujah one minute silence. <laughs> um i agree but the reason i don't agree 100 percent is because i think good pressure is good mm. um i think social media for me uh has exposed me a lot mm. i'm from a family that we all do nine to fives. Like my mom has had a very successful nine to five job. Um, and that's the only thing I know. Mm. I think it was onto social media that I realized that yeah, that's good though. That's mm. good. And you can actually have that successfully, but there's other options. And that there's people who are doing a lot. And More. also that there's young people doing a lot. Mm. Um, social media is the only thing that could have given me that. So. Because my personal circle didn't have that. I didn't have people who had five, six, um, side gigs and their you know CEOs doing their thing until I went to social media and I saw that they're really really young um, it's even this job in particular but I guess this job also kind of intertwines itself with social media because we mm. get our clients our, our artists and all of that from social media mm. and all of that but seeing them sit on this table say that they're 15 19 20 22 uh, 22 25 you know, that for me is good inspiration. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to completely agree because of that. But I know exactly where he's coming from, that we have now gone past just being inspired to now being extremely Suicidal. pressured. Yeah, and um, I don't think suicide is social media. I think that suicide is a mental thing and that anything, but any kind of pressure social really. Media kind of puts more pressure on people, you know, people, especially the ones that feel like they could have achieved a whole lot more and they're not where they feel they're supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, absolutely. But I, mean, I think that social seen... media, yeah, maybe social media is easy access to that. But I think that their sure. um, group it's reunion mind, would have yeah. would have done the same, and their you know. But group reunion, you choose not to go. Social media, as long 
that you have Instagram, somebody will post their seven series. <laughs> <laughs> you don't understand? I think so. Sometimes yeah. I wonder, like, ah, oh, guys, I mean, what's happening? Nowadays, it's not, you know, Where we keep saying it's the people from? you follow. But right now, once you just click, by mistake, just click discover. Hey, it's you see, over. It's over. It's By over. Mistake. That's not and even mistake, some though. of the following, actually, some of your, of your friends that you know are doing things that you know I be mm, uh, mm. yeah quite out there. But I saw I saw a video where a guy was saying that look, nobody can pressure me. The only pressure you can give me now, I've seen it all. The only pressure you can give me now is to say, God lives in your house. If God does not live in your house, there is nothing you want to show me. Mm. Do you understand? And I think I'm, I, I'm of that train of thought too. Like, I don't see the pressure from anyone else. I'm running my race, you're running your race. I still get comments from the race that me I'm running that I'm comparing to somebody else. Yeah. Do you understand? Somebody else is looking at my life and thinking, thinking wow, they want yeah. this life. Yeah. Now, I'm looking at somebody else's. So, I think it's just a chain and it's yeah. just how you set your mind yeah. and how you want your life to be. Yeah. I think I have a beautiful life. Yeah. I think so. I think that, um, what's it called? This thing, you can, you can bring out the concept of contentment and balance. Mm balance out mm. of this conversation one you have to stay content with what you have mm. content doesn't mean complacent mm. meaning that just because i'm content doesn't mean i don't want to do anything mm -hmm. about this particular mm -hmm. position mm -hmm. but right now this is what i have and i'm happy with it and i am um, i have that balanced view of when we get there we get there but right now i am this grateful for the moment at. that i have and keep on working to get better obviously um so i wouldn't completely throw the baby and the water with mm. the, with this conversation to say that social media is the reason blah 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 because something like a nine to five which i also have so i know i'm about to shoot myself in the leg i think it can be slavery it actually can. So let's not said, go, um, let's not said, go to the other said, extreme of like, oh yeah, there's pressure, but then we don't start romanticizing things that... I saw a post recently that says, um, your salary is the drug they give you to make you forget your dreams. Hmm. See? <laughs> well, but it is what it is. It's true. Because the more you get that, the more you feel like, okay, That's the I'm only, okay, and the you're only tone I didn't like yeah. about it. That, yes, absolutely, there is bad pressure. But let's not now romanticize uh, poverty or or just feeling too comfortable or thriving in your comfort zone no get out there young people are doing big things now you don't need much to do much so like tra tap into that i mean i'll ask god when no. i don't know well like i said count your blessings name them one by one and it will surprise you what, what the lord, lord has done. done and that is a wrap guys on today's episode thank you so much for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can also catch up on all of our previous episodes, including this one, and all of our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Remember that you can also watch Tea Time on RT TV and in London on Ben Television. A big, 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 big thank you. Go out to my co and core, yes, if yes, I lost yes. care for yes, keeping yes, it. Yes, yes. 100 yes. with me and Caroline Naomi, all the way from America, um, for also just and, and putting some spice into this pretty awesome show and the entire production team for just keeping the whole thing together thank you so much for watching my name remains ifelmai enjoy your weekend